Governor in waiting Kathy Hochul came to the city today a week before she formally takes the oath of office to uh, start to get her arms around the enormous problems facing the city. CBS 2's cameras were the only ones there when she went into the building for a series of meetings today. CBS 2 political reporter Marcia Kramer joins us with that exclusive video and more. Marcia? Well, Kathy Hochul's schedule tells a lot about the issues she's concerned about, the people she needs to work with, a sit-down with Mayor de Blasio, an intriguing meeting with public advocate Jumani Williams. But first, a meeting with parents and educators to discuss how to get kids safely back to school. CBS 2 cameras exclusively caught the determination in Kathy Hochul's step as she marched into the building that houses the governor's New York offices, coffee thermos in one hand, mask in the other. Serious blue pantsuit, a sign that she was intent on the job at hand. A series of private meetings to help her get up to speed on the pandemic and the city's economic recovery. Her first task, a roundtable meeting with parents and educators to deal with the critical issue of reopening New York City schools safely. During his mid-morning press conference, Mayor de Blasio making it clear his message to the incoming chief executive is that despite the misgivings of some parents and teachers, he wants everyone back in the classroom, no remote learning. It's in the interest of children, including their health and safety, their mental health, their physical health, to be back in school. Remote education just could not substitute for the real thing. And while de Blasio and Hochul have a joint interest in discussing ways for the city to recover economically from the pandemic, the mayor said he also wanted to talk about the slow implementation of congestion pricing. He's furious with MTA officials who said yesterday it would take 16 months to complete a required environmental assessment. Do I buy that timeline? No. Uh, I'd like to meet the person who thinks 16 months is expedited. Everyone's got to go faster. I mean, this is crazy. For many, the most intriguing part of the day was Hochul's decision to meet with public advocate Jumani Williams, who ran against her in the 2018 Democratic primary for lieutenant governor. There is speculation that Williams, the darling of the left wing of the party, is one of several under consideration by Hochul to be named her lieutenant governor. I asked de Blasio about the meeting. I don't read anything into that per se. I, I think it is smart for her to meet with leaders all over the state. Having a lieutenant governor from New York City makes sense. Well, de Blasio's complaints about congestion pricing provoked an angry response. An MTA spokesperson tartly pointed out that the time frame was developed with the mayor's own Department of Transportation. He blamed de Blasio for causing further delays. Now, this may be the first dispute Governor Kathy Hochul will have to settle. Dana. The first of expected many, I'm sure. A lot of challenges for her ahead. Marsha, thank you.